Did you know that we can create a 3D models of a various objects by just taking a photo from all the side using only a single mobile phone? It is so cool. Hello, welcome to Manifest XR channel and today we would like to talk about photogrammetry, another way to create a 3D models from photographs. Photogrammetry is the process that creates the realistic 3D models from the 2D image by determining the position, shape, and size, and characteristic of the object from photograph. The photo are processed by specific software that to find the position of the various points of the objects in a 3D space and then create a 3D model from that. Well, for this example, like if you want to see the big production in this image, you can see the professional photogrammetry technique that used in the production studio. You will notice that there's a lot of DSLR camera everywhere in the scene. They're all around and the way it works is that the person stand in the center of the camera and then strike the pose and then all the camera capture the photo simultaneously. This allows for the image for all the angles to be combined in three dimension and create a model from that. How is it interesting? So this technology is quite interesting because it can be used in the many fields like for the architecture, archaeology, for the, for example, archaeology, there might be sensitive object artifact that needs to be uh, captured, and then later on, all the researcher can look into the three D model files to take a look at all the objects and stuff, and all the engineering who would like to capture all the equipments and then build them in a 3D dimension, 3D files or something like that. And a lot of films and video games use this technique too. For the hobby purposes, you can collect all the 3D model files and use it as a reference. And we don't have to invest into buy like a thousand of the cameras like in the production. We can use just the camera on our mobile phone to take a photos. And this the key that will take a photo the key is to take a photo overlaps a little bit, like 40 to 60 percent. The closer to the subject, the more details the model will be. There's an app to help you make everything more easy. It's called Luma AI. And to use the app, just download it on the app store and then follow the instruction on the screen. Place the model in the center and you can walk around and then adjust the light to make everything well lit and slowly holding the phone and walk around the model. The app will automatic capture with the instruction on the screen while you're holding the phone. It will vibrate a little bit slightly to confirm that it has capture and the percentage of the image will be shown on the lower right corner and you keep continue capture it until it reach 100% and then tap to upload to the server and process. Wait for like about 20, 15 to 20 minutes and then you will get the 3D dimension of the model and you can swipe, rotate, zoom in and view it on your mobile app. And the advantage of this is really easy, it's quite convenient, and it provides on-the-screen instruction. The problem, the limitation of the application is that the model resolution might not be so uh, super high quality detail, and it might not be optimization for the professional work environment. Also, there is no app for an Android, but you can take a photo by yourself and upload it and buy the zip file to the website. And it's mostly likely suitable for the small scale project. So, if you would like to create the large model scale like a, a cabana house or the map of your garden, you need to use the special equipment to take a photo from the high level up from the top view, like a bird eye view. 
I think drone would be make sense for this case. The technique for taking a photo of the drone is quite that's some sort of the technique. For example, I think the most important would be practice to flying with the drone. I think it's the most important. At least you need to know to be able to like uh, turn left, turn right, go up and down in order to avoid the obstacle by taking photos. And make sure that has like 40 to 60 percent overlapping between each photo. And the best way to take the drone up high and tilt the camera down for 70 degrees angle to be to capture the best viewpoint. And set the camera to the auto mode so the exposure will be taken care of by the automation. And if you're using the same model like me, the DJI 2, I tend to set the image to 3x4 and make it like a full, and to make the best of the sensor using that. And actually, any drone can fly as long as you can take the drone up and take a photo around. And then all the all those images should be able to use for the processing 3D files. Once you have taken all the photos, upload them to the photogrammetry software, which is the Luma AI. The method is to connect the SD card into your computer, compress them into the zip files, and then drag into the website. And then it would take the same up to 20 or 30 minutes. Ta-da! And then you get the three dimension files for the big scale of the objects. And of course, this is Manifest XR channel. We would like to be able to make something extra, extend reality. So we should be able to wheel this model into the three dimension, like a virtual reality headset too. For Apple Vision Pro, this can be viewed directly on the device. Just log in onto the Luma AI website and then download the, the 3D files. Click on the USDC files and then that should be able for you to download directly. It's quite simple. It's so good. Yeah. And for the MetaQuest, download fine. Like you may need to download OBJ or FBX and then put into the Unity application and this will be more complicated. If you want to see how it goes, like how it works, leave the comment below on the video so I can arrange the tutorial for you. And please, if you have some time, check out the video here for the tutorial how to bring the 3D files, any 3D files into the Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest 3. So I hope you like this video and enjoy the journey of bringing your extendability from the 3D model files, from the photo of the 2D into the 3D model files. Yep. Yeah, so thank you for watching. See you on the next one.